Because I'm misinformed, people should understand. Started off, welcome to another episode of welcome. the Misinformed Podcast, episode number 65, 65. I'm Ooh. your host, Keegan Bernie Dyke. With me, as always, the big dog, Coda Lusty. <laughs> Comes in with a full pump. I can't even fit him through a goddamn door in the house. I'm like, easy, bro. Don't do chest we twice a week. The, we, we ain't gonna fit in the podcast room. Jeebus. Welcome to another one, my friend. Clink. This is Clink like your my, drink. This is my, uh, my, my Coke Zero and whiskey. Yeah. And some whiskey. Some, oh, God, that's not gonna be good whiskey. Uh, una mas? Una, una, una mas. So una. It's a, that's why it's I said a female it. one. That's why I said it like it's that. Not a uno, it's una. Yeah, I said una mas. I yeah, did yeah. say it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, left Coast Brewing Company. Ooh, Left Coast. Left Coast. Left Coast? Yep. Okay. Well, is, the, we... is the hand their logo? It doesn't look like it. Left Coast. No, it's uh, two surfboards I've in had the some, ground with a. I've had some Left sun. Coast before. Amber Lager. Hmm. I feel like I've also had a Left Coast Burrito Co. Straight out of San Clemente, California. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we taste. I always like to go to like wine tastings and they just say like outrageous shit. Like, mm, mm, it has the hint of a, the dead skin off the back of a cat's ass. You know, you just kind of <laughs> give them that full, robust flavor. The, uh, the, the afterflow coming out of her nostrils has really got a burnt hair to it. When you pull the hair out of the drain and you get the full, the, the that comes up the out waft of the sewer. air of waft sewer, it tastes just like that on the back of your tongue. On the back of your tongue. What a wonderful. Indubitably. I love, can we get two more glasses of this wine, fine sir? Crooked pinkies out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start the finger up. I used to do the pinky out just because it was this, the side of my hand was broken. Oh, that's good. It's a good one. That's good. You know, my little brother taught me the pinky out thing when we were like four. And then I couldn't stop doing it for like the rest of my <laughs> for most of my life. I just catch myself doing it. And I, it's all because like one day he was like, oh, when you drink, you got to put your. You know how kids are just such little shits like that. You just yeah. like. Oh, uh, like he used to like find a book that had been highlighted, and he'd be like, "Oh, well, back before when I could read, I used to, I, I did that." And I'd be like, "You couldn't read? Like I'm older than you." And he'd be like, "No, I did, I did that." And it would get me so mad because I knew he was just being a little dick. Kids are dicks, though. You ever yeah. just listen to your daughter with their f- friends and just be like? So my daughter tried to was trying to explain like swag to my mom yesterday mm-hmm. to her grandmother. She was trying to say she said she had some pictures she and she's like what, drew five no seven seven she seven. she had some pictures she drew and she's like this one is like so and so and this one is swag and I was like swag and I'm like what do, what do you mean by swag and then my mom's like what what's swag. And then so I just kind of like <laughs> butted out of the conversation. I'm like, I got to hear how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you know, just like like really nice, like high heels and like fancy. Swag is kind of like fancy. I'm like, kind of. She was kind of describing drip a little bit. But yeah. I was like. So, More I, and bougie. Then I, and then I tried to ex- tell my mom, like, I don't know, like fly. Like when younger people said like, that's fly. Like that's. Like, it's got a lot of swagger to it. Got sauce. Yeah, I got some sauce. Yeah. The, yeah, people don't understand. The older generations don't understand the, the language nowadays. It's Us? hilarious. We're the older generation. No, no, because we know. There's new shit coming. And we're oh, not, there's going to be new shit and coming. And we won't yeah. know it. Yeah, when we're 40 and 50, it's going like, to get different. The on God, and uh, which is hilarious, because if you go back to any, like, Kanye and all them, like, way back when, like, 04, 05, they were saying a lot of the shit the kids are saying now. But, like... Bro, some of the shit that they're saying now, I hate that it bugs me that I keep hearing it because I'm like, I'm old. Like, I just had, like, a just a regular injury for no reason. Like, just worked <laughs> out, and then, like, my shoulder got so swollen that I think it pinched nerves, and then it felt like it was breaking my clavicle. <laughs> it was the most outrageous fucking pain. Yeah, my neck's all fucked up right now. And I'd, I had to go to the doctor. 
it was six days and it wasn't like normally you like blow a muscle up four days in, you start to get some relief. It was getting worse <laughs> on day six. I was like, all right, I tap out. I, maybe I did something and I went in and then they, they gave me the benzos, bro. I guess that's supposed to help and some steroids. So I'm going to get big and strong. <laughs> you get tired and big and strong. <laughs> oh, dude, they say some they're supposed to like keep you up, but man, I take that shit. I'm like ready to go to bed, especially with like with una mas. <laughs> with a couple una mas. I don't well, know. Well, there'll be dos mas. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there'll be dos. I only have one of these. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's how you know you're getting old right there. It's like when kid slang just starts to fucking irritate you. Yeah. And then on top of it, you just get hurt for no reason and you actually have to go to the doctor cuz you're like, "Oh, have you, have you seen have you seen the one? It's like a like an Indian kid, and uh, like like from India, and the mom is like, "Your cousins keep saying a or saying af in their text message. What does af mean?" He's like, "It means a lot, mom." And then she goes, "Well, I love you af," and he's like, "I love you, I love you af too." <laughs> and she's like, "Did I use it right?" He's like, "You definitely used it right. Definitely used <laughs> I it right." I loved mom. you as fuck. Yeah, all the way, mom. Man, have you seen? Like, I'm not a big news guy, but I was kind of peeking at some of that stuff, and it's hard to miss like the afghan stuff that's going on right now and, oh yeah and i'm not gonna like we're not gonna get into all that today like that's yeah we don't need to dive into the politics of it i'm not gonna I'm do cool the without all that we already all know we were never supposed to be over there it's very fucking abundant and clear that there was never a reason for us to be over there well we were trying to restructure their government we we're trying to do we were trying to do like the fucking the crusades and trying to make sure everyone I mean, was on the same level originally as Christianity. we went over there because we thought we were going after terrorists mm. but we weren't really like there's a whole I, again there's so about much weapons of mass destruction. we're not getting that was iraq and there wasn't oh, yeah, any Trump. there and again i'm not even going to get into all that we're not there's the crazy enough, shit that there's happened. enough podcasts there's enough people that speak daily about how wrong and how fucked up the shit we did over there is and i have cousins that have been over there same so you know, thank God none of them lost their lives, but there are family that has lost lives over there, and I feel bad for them because if it is as much of a ruse as they make it sound, you know, it sucks. But it also sucks because, like, I heard one of the numbers today was, like, they had 300,000 trained troops, and, like, there wasn't even, like, 50,000 or 100,000 Taliban soldiers. Yeah. And they, they, what did Biden say? Like, there was no way that they were going to take over those troops. And they literally just laid their shit down and gave up to them. Instant. Yeah. It was like the second that U.S. left, they were like, okay, guys, come back. You can take your shit now. <laughs> like, we don't want you to kill our family. Because it, yeah. it was gonna, it's going to be nonstop. It's an all-out war until... Without, you can tell that they were scared to fucking death, that they were being protected by us. When you see that plane leaving, you've seen oh, yeah. that video. Yeah, there's like there's like a dozen a dozen on one side just at the yeah, back. Yeah, probably more than a dozen. There's people like I mean, all over being the plane. Kind. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But just right in one little spot, like you saw the guy like doing a selfie from that one spot. Yeah, and there's at least probably yeah like twelve to twenty people there. There was people. I think at least twelve or something people died, or seven, or I don't remember how many. I had the number. Dude, they were they were falling, falling off the like the cargo hole and the like where the wheels are, and they yeah, were trying to hold on the landing gear and shit. They found one guy after the plane landed, like in the landing gear, who got smashed by the hydraulics. Oh my god! Oof, that's a rough one. It's just crazy because like I mean, is it fucked up to say he's the only one that made it back? <laughs> Well, no, that's the other thing is, is if you looked inside of the plane, a lot of people got in. Mm. So like before they got the door closed, a lot of people got in and they, like, couldn't, they, they couldn't, open, in. couldn't open the door back up. What are they going to do? Start shooting people? Yeah, right. On the plane. You know, and that's kind of where they just had to take who they had with them. And it's, it's, it's terrifying because you see these grown adults like running for their lives oh, yeah. and trying to get on that fucking plane. Like, please don't leave me here. This is going to be bad. And then you've. Just look again. Like, Imagine you have like a family and we kids just like, and stuff. We just were like, all right, we're done here. All right, we're it's done. Wild. We're just going to leave. So, you know, I mean, unfortunately, they don't have a like a Captain America or nothing to come swoop in and save the yeah, day, yeah. bro. The Falcon, dude. Yeah, they need a Falcon. They need a Falcon. Like in the beginning, if any of you guys watch Falcon, it's been out for a while now, so spoiler yeah, alert. Spoiler shit. He just starts, he, he goes in, he starts fucking up these like jets and helicopters and all kinds of shit are trying to attack him. Yeah, you need a Falcon suit, The Falcon could have saved all those people and killed all those other people. But you need like a Falcon, but like directed by Bollywood. <laughs> 
Them Bollywood there shits is wild, bro. Yeah, yeah. Didn't Anthony, the King Fisher. Didn't Anthony Mackie just sign for that movie? Yeah. Anthony, we Ma- Anthony Mackie. Well, as far as I've heard, I don't know. Like, you never know what you read nowadays if it's true. Well, or not. you saw at the end that they said like he's now Captain America, so yeah. you knew they were gonna do the next. So movie. he's got the whole new outfit. Yeah. He's got the shield. He's still got his red wing. Still got like, but he's all red, white, and blue now. He's got no top of his helmet though, right? No, he yeah. He just has like a neck. A Wakanda neck, made him all that shit and didn't, neck didn't thing give him nothing to protect the dome. And goggles. Yeah. Yeah. You would think if you're flying at high speeds, like the top of your well, head is Well, you're like getting you shot at. So like... Yeah. Wear a helmet. You know, you got a vibranium suit. You should probably like make them make you a helmet. That's good. That, I mean, you know, didn't 50 Cent used to have to like wear the, the bulletproof baseball cap? Doc says he's getting hit in the head. He still get a concussion though. You don't remember... <laughs> <laughs> the bulletproof baseball, uh, baseball cap. Yeah, man. That new. Well, they make everything bulletproof new nowadays. Era. Have you seen those like crazy like Russian dudes? They make they literally make like scarves and fucking jackets oh, yeah. and like regular, you know, t-shirts out of not this. This is thin as shit. But they make regular t-shirts that are like Kevlar and it'll like at least save your life. Like it's not like a full on plated vest, but it'll catch a around and <laughs> not go through you and bleed out. Yeah, dude. I can't imagine what that shit costs though. It's mm. got to be so expensive. It, yeah, I've looked it up before. It actually wasn't like as much as you'd think, but I, I mean, but like those ambassadors. If people are trying to shoot you though, like that's you know you probably got some money. Spend, spend unless you like spend a grand, or spend a grand on a t- on a t shirt. You know, are we ever going to be sponsored green. by uh, Rock Pete's and Peppers or whatever? Rock Pete and Peppers. Rock Pete and Pepper. Are they ever going to sponsor the podcast? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if we could throw a logo up on there. We can start. I mean, we could have. Cramming some bottles of sauce out here. Just some sauce and like we some could just sauce. drink sauce. Just get sauced up, sauce. bro. We get too much sauce. That's Not what, enough I mean, sauce. I'm totally down for one of those things. D- listen, we don't know how bad that that is t- for you until like later down the road. What drinking hot sauce? Like a lot of things. Like we get, you know, I've been kind of crucial about the whole vaccine and stuff. Like, right. you know, and it don't matter what way it goes. You, you're going to be wrong if you don't take it. And um, those people are right, even if they catch the, the – you're both standing in the same room and they catch it and yeah. you don't and they had the vaccine and it's your fault that they caught it. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. But anyway, on top of that, like, we don't know, like, good things could come from this vaccine down the road. Be like, you got superpowers now. Like, Maybe. we've talked about this. And then we're all going to be like, f- the ones who didn't take it and be like, fuck, man, you should have taken it. But the one – I th- the thing that I think we should be worried the most about that we don't ever pay attention to – are energy drinks. Yeah. Energy like, drinks are crazy nowadays. They are literally... You see, like, the number, the the amount of, and the flavors from each brand. And Oh, yeah. It's just... It's so insane it's to me that they're the new cigarette companies. Yeah. Like, do you remember the old cigarette ads when we were kids? And people had all the marble points, and they had, like, a marble jack, jacket, and oh, you could yeah. get, like, the fucking marble sleeping, bowling sleep, bag. Sleeping bags and bowling bags. Yeah. All kinds of shit, dude. All, all kinds, kinds of cool of swagger. Fucking had that swag. Had that swag, Had dude. that swag. That swag bag. That marble swag. Ooh, that camel swag bag, you Let know? Me get a couple packs of marble reds, get some swaggers on them babies. And give me some of them swag points. Ooh, <laughs> child. So... Back in the day, they used to promote the shit out of that stuff. Like oh, that, yeah. those the ads were everywhere you looked for cigarettes and the marble points and fucking cools and all that shit. And now I'm like at the gas station today, and it's literally the same thing, but it's Monster Energy, and it's like the Monster backpack and a duffel bag and the fucking yeah. headphones. And I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, oh man, we're all gonna grow like a third fucking cancer ass dick. Coming right out of our side, it's gonna be just a dick with a butthole. Yeah, because when, when did energy drinks like come around? Like, I mean, like Mountain Dew and like Surge. Like Surge was kind of one of the. But those were just like they sugar were just high and caffeinated chemicals. sodas. Now they're like, yeah, we're just gonna put a bunch of this other shit in here too. This should jack you up and get you going and make you alert. I mean, they sh- they should be cleaner. <laughs> Do you think though? Because they know, still like, have like the a same ba- like, like a Bang energy. Some of the Zion Zion Zions Zions. and like some of the Bangs and stuff. They don't have sugar. Right. But, like, what are you substituting to get those flavors? Like, you're doing yeah. something. There's no way, like... It's uh, witchcraft. I'll wizardry. Tell you what. It's wizardry. You think in, like, 15 years that there's a law against them advertising energy drinks? I mean, like you said, you walk into the fucking store now. Like, it used to be, like, 10 coolers full of sodas. Now it's, like, two coolers, maybe three full of sodas. It's like and then Pepsi, like five of Coke, energy drinks. and like some other shit. And then it's like five energy drink ones. Yeah. Do you think they've that t- They've we, definitely taken the place of soda for the most part. I think do, especially do with like Do we get to that generation. point though where like 
they're like, oh man, like these things are fucking killing people. I don't know. We already had the one kid die when I was in high school. But just like no, like long term. Yeah, I don't. We, we don't know how they. How are we gonna know? How are they gonna know? That's what makes me laugh. Though is like some guy like shitting on the vaccine. Like I'm not fucking taking that vaccine as he drinks his fourth rock star from the day. Yeah, right. It's like, dude. Like, <laughs> there's probably like. Crushed Smoke, up, smoke, rat. smoking his e cig and drinking yeah. his rock star, and we have not, neither of them been around long enough to really know what the long term effects are. It's like, dude, they Whew. just want to like protect you from maybe catching this virus, and if you do get it, like maybe it won't be as bad. Well, like they're saying with the Delta variant now, like it's basically useless. Like now, yeah. It, and then, you, like you said, it's if you didn't get the vaccine, it's your fault. There's a Delta variant, but if they still get sick from having the vaccine, then it's still your fault. Well, for, even if know. like some vaccinated people end up contracting the variant and they've only been around vaccinated people like people that weren't vaxxed were breathing air somewhere you know it's their fault mm. so it doesn't don't, matter like i breathe. it sounds like I kinda, it gets, I is there a scary got, movie called don't breathe i got into this my sister and i started to have the conversation and i could see it you know how strongly she felt about getting vaccinated so i just kind of stopped because i didn't want to like get in an argument about it because again i might eventually get vaccinated i don't know the yeah. thing that bothers me i think the most is is who is behind some of these vaccines and like the amount of profit like when you watch like a video oh, of like bill Pfizer. gates straight up saying that the best investment he's ever made best is in vaccines biggest return yeah not not microsoft yeah biggest return he's well, we ever know got for. i think he put like fuck i should have took a screenshot of that it was like six billion or six there's some stupid number and he like returned like 150 so maybe it was like sixty million, and he returned like it was a twenty-one percent return off of vaccinations, which is huge. I mean, again, I don't that's, fucking that's pl- a, I don't I don't claim to know. Especially any when you put millions in, getting twenty-one percent. Oh yeah, dude. He's I mean, smart investment. But then it, again, I'll still eat the McDonald's French fries, which that man's the one that produces all the potatoes for those fries. So really, I might be yeah. Am I being a hypocrite? If I don't get the vaccine because you're eating his French fries, I mean, probably already, fucking, you probably already got the vaccine, bro. That, if you just put that fucking vaccine in some goddamn French fries, I'll tell you what. If those things were in the McDonald's French fries, we'd have all damn everybody, even people that claim they don't eat that shit. You'd find out they got the vaccine already. They'd be so, like, "Hey, how'd you get the vaccine?" I wasn't eating them French fries. I swear to God. So this is—it's a good point that you're making that we're kind of bringing up about the French fries. So there was a, a pilot when I when I was a personal trainer back in umpteen years ago. Um, there was a, a an airliner pilot who, this dude was in phenomenal shape. His skin was still like tight. Like he looked probably ten years younger than he was. He was like he was like sixty, something in his mid sixties, and the dude looked like he was like fifty two years old. And um, I used to train his wife, and I would talk to him all the time. He's involved with a bunch of, bunch of cool shit. But he, I asked him one day, like how he stays, you know, so fit. I'm like, do you use like a lot of lotion? Your skin is like so tight, you know, like you don't look your age at all. And he's like, dude, they say that all those meals you eat on the airlines have like a bunch of preservatives in them. F- preserve the fuck out of me, didn't they? <laughs> I was like, damn, that makes that's a good point. Eating all those preservatives, maybe you're preserving your your skin. Your organs, probably not, but maybe. Well, no, because in that case, don't you think that people lived in, like, cold, colder climates would live longer? From being preserved? Yeah. Maybe. But your body also struggles a lot to create warmth and shivering, so you're doing a lot of physical work also to survive. So do you think there's a correlation that maybe people, like, in California I think, I think, live longer because it's a steady, like, 70 degrees? I think... I think from the, the the lack of stress, if you live by the beach, you live longer. If you live in fucking Silicon Valley, you probably don't live quite as long because you're doing a lot of coke and worried worried about all your fucking reports. I think and shit. they're more like into Adderall and like microdosing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing like mushrooms and acid and Adderall. Yeah, coke coke is short term. Coke is for partying. Like they use they use medicinal microdosing. Everything goes for away. Work. Like everything was fun at one point, and then kind of just gets turned into. A profit driven thing like even music like a lot of the music was made of like fun man now mm-hmm. it's so driven by profit that you can't even get your foot in the door a lot of times if you don't fit the machine and i mean like you have innovation that comes along because of it and right. like you have 
how awesome were all the social media sites when they first came out? You know, right. MySpace, you're fucking coding, bro. You're making your own page with music. That was the fun shit. Yeah, and then you got Facebook, and Facebook was cool, and then it got Instagram, and Instagram was insane, and then Vine, and then Snapchat, and then TikTok. And now there's, like, so many of them. And now, though, like, you used to be able to put stuff up that, like, I, I've seen people get fucking beheaded on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Or on Twitter. Like, you can't fucking... Remember, do you remember the stuff that you used to see on Facebook back in the day? Like, outrageous, yeah, like, things that you would have to search hardcore stuff to find. Mm -hmm. And, like, now there's so much censorship on it that... I mean, it's good. It's needed. Because you, you've got kids that are just looking at this stuff. So it's And it's not good for anybody to look at it, but... I mean, it reminds us of mortality. But then it just... It, it changes the landscape again. Because then these other companies come out, like... OnlyFans and Patreon and all these other ones that right. they charge you money and then you can just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. Like, you want to show your butthole? Show your butthole. And if there's and, people that want to see your butthole, they'll throw you some and bucks let me tell to you see what, your butthole. There's a ton of people that want to see your butthole. Yeah. They don't even care what you look like. Yeah. So isn't that isn't that a funny one? Like, there's more women on the planet than men. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to make money showing my dick online, I'm probably not going to make very much money. You got to have a hand. Because no, one, no one's interested. You got to have a You got to have a you gotta, piece. And you probably got to be doing something with it, you know? Maybe. Smashing fucking Coke cans and shit. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Using if you like just a got a piece and you're a good-looking guy, like you, I think Tiger, it, Tyga is like one of the top grossing people on... Really? Yeah, I think he's, he's got made, a hammer on him? I think skinny. he's made like, yeah, $7 million off that thing. He's like skinny thing. and not that big. $7 million uh, off that thing. Off, off that thing. <laughs> I just saw an episode of... Uh, For what, real. Hey, what's tanked? You know the ones where they build the fish tanks? Mm -hmm. I just saw an episode where they built a fish tank. I was home on my lunch break and like literally just turned the power on the TV and that's what was on. And I, so I was like sitting there making my fucking chicken salad and shit and watching it. And uh, they built a dope-ass fish tank. Fucking rack, got racks on rack. That's Tiger, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah racks he, on racks he, on racks. I think he said it was like $7.1 million off of OnlyFans. Just that's showing his hog. And I guess it's monstrous, so... People want to see it, and and then and one of the Jenners or or fucking whichever Kardashian wasn't one of them with them. Kylie, okay, the billionaire one. The so one she's that has blown the out then. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Travis Scott's in there trying to fulfill. He's in Astro World right now. <laughs> <laughs> is, is the, well, I mean, I don't know if they're still together. He probably was like, man, she, that's where all the you oh, know when then, you listen to a she, Travis and she, song, and then she was hooking up with uh, Devin Booker. You right? know when you're like listening to a Travis song and you hear like the echo of his voice, like ah, 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 <laughs> that's because she's in the room, just like sitting there. <laughs> that's you know? that fucking cave, that black hole. <laughs> a wide vagina <laughs> <laughs> with a heavy flow. Oh man, he's like, I got the heavy flow, you got the wide. This set. is how you never ever <laughs> ever get famous, right here. Say, or this is how you. Get just say you say terrible other. shit about people. No, but like now, I guess OnlyFans starting in the fall, they're gonna stop. They're they're gonna start restricting people. So like basically, they're gonna block explicit content. Now I don't know. They're still saying that you're gonna be able to show nudity and stuff like that. Right. So I don't know what it actually means. If maybe you can show like. Your naked self, but you can't show yourself having sex or doing some. No, like I have no idea. Or no, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah. They haven't really come out with the rules yet on how all this. Well, is and I'm work, not like but... real privy and caught up on how all the the licensing and everything works because like I'm not on OnlyFans. Yeah, I don't know. I just know that there's a lot of girls and some guys that are paying like <laughs> paying their rent off showing their butthole. So, and, and that could come to a screeching so halt. So I've got a, go I've got a, a friend who married a girl, and I'm not going to say any names. We'll keep it all clean. Um, and she was doing OnlyFans, and he ended up dating her. They got married. He quit his job, and they were doing it together, and they were getting, like, Airbnbs and, like, random places and going on vacation and going snowboarding. So they'd have dope rooms with, like, great views and making OnlyFans videos and making, making like, 500 grand for the year. Like, she had posted one time, Last year, around this time last year, it's August right now, so I think it was like July, August, September, or August, September, October is like a three-month period, and she was making, I want to say like, I think she made like 90 grand in those three months or mm -hmm. a little over, or that was her take home or something. Yeah, there's like a she, lot but of, She posted it like on her Snapchat. There's a lot of like, people making 10 grand a month just but showing he, their but, body. But, but my buddy like quit his job, too, and some people listen to this right now know exactly what I'm talking about, but he quit his job in order to like 
basically pursue that and they got like a new manager and they were like going whole hog into it you know what i mean whole hog into it and then yeah and then was. now so now i'm curious because like i just heard about this today so i want to talk to them that's crazy, and see what dude. what the game plan is like if they're like because i heard like there is some stipulations with the licensing where some people can still maybe if you're grandfathered in or i don't know how it works yeah, is it gonna have more to call? exclusive, or is there gonna be like now a new tier, an exclusive tier of OnlyFans? I mean, you know? some of these people were, you know, getting getting their college debt paid. Now they're gonna really have to hope that Daddy Biden comes through with the Biden bucks. The Biden bucks. I mean, he claims that's that's what you're saying, right? He's claiming he's gonna clear mm. it out. He's gonna clear the college debt. Yeah, but is that gonna ha- can that happen? Well, here's my whole thing. How, how much is that? Here's my whole take on it. You don't even have to do any numbers because I look at it like this. Isn't that one of the things he said to get elected? Right, yep. I'm pretty sure the man has dementia and he forgot that he said it and that he didn't follow through with it because he's like, hey, I'm <laughs> going to fix debt. So $5.8 like, billion in student loans. That's insane. Look up what California's homeless budget is a year. Oh, yeah, what they spend on the homeless? Yeah. Do I just do I just look up California homeless budget? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, homeless problem. Homeless for sale. Homeless budget twenty twenty. Homeless budget. Let's do that one. California will spend a record four point eight billion over two years to alleviate homelessness after legislators Thursday unanimously passed key details. Da, 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 da. Okay, that was July sixteenth, twenty twenty one. So it was just a month ago. So they just keep giving them more money. It's insane. Bro, they've been getting over a billion dollars a year for multiple years and they still haven't got it's worse than it's ever been. Yeah. Well, you're not, you're not going to you're not going to just give people money and expect them not so to be homeless anymore. So what you do anymore. is you just you tell California, "Fuck you" for 2 years and you take all that money and then give it to all the student loan debt. Boom. There we go. Cuz you just, weren't doing anything anyway. Just alleviated a Look, problem, make us a branch of the government. Peace. Stop. You're not doing anything to the homeless people. You're not bothering. You're not moving them out of there. You're not doing anything. So just there's there's four billion dollars getting paid out to a bunch of people that aren't. So what is what does that money done. go to? What do you think? Paying like, fucking people to get it done, and it's not getting. No, here's, done. here's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, but that's people what I'm saying. People are rolling in their seat right now. Like that's not what but the money's what saying, for. Like, is it like is I'll it to just, take is it to take like a homeless guy and put him into fucking school so he can get a job or put nope. him in the workforce or like nope what is it what, how is that money being spent? They're paying salaries with it. Oh, they're paying salaries of people. Of who are people supposed that are fighting solve, for these homeless people that are supposed to be out there solving these homeless problems. And these people are just and kicking do, back on their and chair. And I'm sure there are places that they give money to that will let you come live there, but you got to be clean and you got to like. Here's the other Ken, thing. Who man. wants to fucking do that? Bro, we got to st- that's one of the biggest issues that we have in this fucking country is, is that we tell everybody this is a free country and that you can do whatever you want, but you can't do drugs. Listen, if you want to do drugs and it's not harming me, that's I okay. I should be able to deteriorate you, my body. If you do something that harms me or does anything else, just like when you're drinking that drink, you will pay drugs. the consequences. Yep. You pay the consequences no, for yeah. it. So Listen, I don't want a bunch of junkies. I don't want a bunch of fucking things. But what you're going to end up having, no difference in numbers. It'll just be cleaner and less deaths. If you make it legal, be it'll true. be cleaner and less deaths. And you'll probably find that some people can function on drugs, certain drugs. Like, it's just... Yeah. What do you think fucking Percocets are? What do you think Oxycontin and Oxycodone oh, yeah. are? They're heroin. They're just synthetic versions. What do you think versions. fucking Adderall is? It's meth. Like, all these people on Adderall want to drive down through fucking 27th Street in Indian school and turn their nose up to all these people. Oh, fucking meth head. And like, dude, you're just fucking on a stabilized version of it driving your car right now. What? Yeah. Who are you fucking? To- but they have a job. That's the important part. Yeah. They're the, a functioning member of society. Because they took the stabilized version. <laughs> I mean, always take the stabilized version. That's why I think le- making it illegal might help prevent having all this, you know, hoopla yeah. where you got to fucking... You got people that can't get their shit together. Like I know, I know somebody that was a functioning meth addict. Do you know this person every, also? Uh, you don't. You might have met them, but it, it doesn't matter. Totally functioning meth addict. You would have never known that that was the, the drug of choice. Wasn't doing it just to get high. Just did it throughout, like once or twice a day to like, yeah, and used it like a drug. And then when some shit got, you know, bad for him. He ended up get, going to a doctor, talking to a doctor, and they put him on fucking Adderall, 
and the dude's fine now. Doesn't do any drugs. Except for that one. Does that, though. Yeah, which is a drug. Yeah. Doesn't, like, snort it or do anything bad with it. Just strips the coating off, breaks them in half because he likes it to fucking hit instantly instead of time released. And, <laughs> and But I'm dead serious, dude. Yeah. This dude knows how to take care of himself and function at a high level. Successful businessman. But yeah. for a long time, instead of going the Adderall route, he was just doing, you know, something Math. that it was cheaper. Street level. It's fucking crazy, though. Like, that's my point, is there's, like, a professor in another country that that's what his whole thing is. Like, he studies drugs, and he was sober for the longest time. Is that um, Drew, Drew Hart? Is that his name? I don't know. What Something. The guy's oh, Dr. Love, Dr. Love or Dr. Hart? I don't is know. Is you're talking about? Yeah, he's done, like, heroin. He's yeah, done, he's a heroin. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's and, like, that's his user. drug of choice. Does, yeah. 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 And I mean, Dr. Love or Dr. Hart, we'll look it up. It's just, it's hard because this country, like, you know, we throw like a vaccine out and say how much we care about all our people and we want everybody to get vaccinated. But then the cost of fucking insulin is so expensive right now. People are literally having to go without insulin because they can't afford it. You got to fix that diet. And it's like, all right, so if it's worth the money, you know, and and then the government doesn't maybe want to get involved in it. I don't know if maybe the government makes too much money off selling drugs on the side as their little hustle to be able to fund black pop you know black projects or whatever what are they what are they called uh black water no when you do shit that's off the books like black market black tape black i can't remember what they call them but when they're off the under books, yeah <laughs> off the record like black files or some shit yeah. what's the dude that's always going on rogan Dark web. that was from uh the fbi oh the seven five dude He's not, I don't think he's seven foot five, bro. No, 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 no. Mike something. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the police officers in Baltimore during the seven five, like that whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That guy. Yeah. That, he's got a but, show on Discovery or something like that called like the Black Files or something like that. Yeah. So it's Black just, Budget it, or. It's just like un. un yeah. Or classified shit. shit. Classified yeah. shit that doesn't go on the regular budget that they talk about at all the meetings that we're bitching about. This is yeah. some other money shit. This is what you get. Like, all that shit kind of all like wraps up and all turns around to like what the biggest problem in our country, most countries, I think is just mental health. I think f- for most people, like everybody has mental health issues. And I would assume everybody does, or I would I would like to think that everybody has some form of mental health issues to deal mm-hmm. with. And a lot of people just find different ways to deal with it. And whether that be, you know, hobbies from like video games, playing guitars, working out, fucking going and playing in a fucking kickball league or a fucking softball league, like all of these little hobbies are all forms of therapy for mental health. And and a lot of people don't have the insurance or they don't have the money to go into therapy, you know what I mean? To like, to actually sit down with a therapist and there's a lot of different options and different ways to fucking deal with mental health and all these drug, you know, drug users and functioning alcoholics and functioning drug users. That's all part of mental health. Like, do you think the guy that it you would know. be better if there was less stigma on it? So like, say you were using, yeah, definitely. you know, say you get in a funk every now and then and you're just not, something's wrong and you use cocaine and then all of a sudden you kind of, you use it a couple times and then you're fine. You don't you don't keep going back to it. Yeah, you're not like fiending for it. It's just like you, you had you, you had it, your you had your good night. Get yourself fixed you or whatever. Your, had your good night. You're up late. Got some good sleep. And what if there was no stigma about that? And that was just a totally illegal thing, like it was a hundred years ago, where you could use cocaine. Yeah, it definitely would. It, I think it would make a, a. Do you difference. think that it would make a difference that the person wouldn't be so hard on themselves? Like, because people with mental health issues. Be the, when you, one, you when maybe you that's use one of drugs them. because you're having mental health issues and you feel like the need to go to them, then you feel bad about using those right. drugs. Now, is the do you feel bad about using those drugs because it was bad or is because we make you feel bad or, or because, because the there, stigma there's behind a stigma it. behind it? And that's another thing. Like I think that again, I'm not sitting here advocating for drug use. I'm I think, just saying I think for, that I think for a lot of the people that have the problems that you're talking about, mm-hmm. they they resort to going to drug use. Yeah, it's like then, I need I need that night off. And then they can't come back from it because they feel even more depressed that, oh my God, I'm using drugs. Now like now my mom would hate me. I'm a bad person. Instead yeah. of being like, hey, dude, I, you know, I, I had to use some shit. I wasn't feeling good. You go talk to a therapist about it. You're not as embarrassed or scared to talk about it. It's the same thing like when we talked about uh, miscarriages. Women, there's so many women that struggle with miscarriages because nobody talk about Nobody will talk about a miscarriage. Yeah, and, it, and it's, it's like taboo. And it's very like heartbreaking and it's hard to deal with. But it's, also it's even harder. It's extremely common. Right. It happens all the time. All the time. Like you would be surprised that if you're sitting in a room of 15 women, I would bet over f- if, if they've all had kids, 
or tried, I bet 50% of that room's probably had a miscarriage. I, I probably think you're not wrong, yeah. Like, I don't know what the and, true and, numbers and the are, thing, but And the I, thing is, too, is every one, every one of those, when, like, the, the boyfriend or husband finds out, and then he tells his buddies, like, yeah, we had a miscarriage, but, like, don't say anything. And then that girl tells her friends, yeah. like, had a miscarriage, but, like, tearing up, like, don't, but don't say anything. And, like, because it has that stigma on it. So, like, I agree with that. Instead 100%. of being open and talking about it, and, and I think that that's, you know, goes back to the thing that you were talking about with mental health is we've... I think we've weaved ourselves into into a really weird. If I'm talking funny, I think that pill's kicking. <laughs> the muscles relaxed in my tongue over here. Um, I think we weave ourselves into these weird situations because, you know, we've created all these different problems now. Like if you're oh, just yeah. having a bad day, you're not just having a bad day. Maybe you're you're not allowed to have a bad day, sir. Well, not even that. No, like, you're having a bad now day. Now people think you're having a bad day. Well, you're depressed about this or this is wrong. Like. We're, I think we have to also remind each other that it's okay to have a bad day. And it's okay, it's okay to fucking not be mentally stable that day. It's a bad day. Fuck it. Go find home a, and have a beer and fucking chill out. Find a friend bin- like this guy right here that you can call and he wants to talk to you on the phone. Yeah. yeah I'll tell you what. True. If I'm having a bad day and I got to call somebody, I'm calling this guy right here. And we're going to talk for 25 minutes on the phone about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. And then you're going to forget why you called me to begin with and be like, I don't fucking... Cool. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. But I think that... It's hard because we've gotten into this day and age of where everything's on the internet. So human connection, you know, being from lockdown, being from now you go back to work. Like, a lot of people don't like the people they work with. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you and I are lucky that we tend to make our own environment at work where we make friends. And you either fit in or you don't. It's not high school. We're not trying to bully you. But we try to make everybody our friend when we're working around them. Oh, yeah. I've had one of our managers uh, at, at work say... Uh, everyone's in a shit mood today and somehow like you come around and make fucking everyone laugh you you sing dumb songs you say dumb shit and like you're never you're never not yourself they're like you're it's inspiring and like motivational for my whole team to like see you just always being you because it's kind of uplifting in a way that you you don't get down you're not in the dumps and I'm like fucking part of that mental health issue like yeah at work i'm not you don't see it at work but like i definitely do get down in the dumps i definitely do get depressed like i definitely do have issues it's a matter of finding a way to deal with it Mm -hmm. if you got to see a therapist see a therapist i think everyone should see a therapist i think we said that on the last episode yeah and like if you got to fucking go to the gym go to the gym you got to go for a hike walk the fucking dog fucking change your diet up See if you need to be on some different pills, some some legal drugs from yeah. from the fucking mafia, the medical mafia out there. Yeah, there's all kinds of different options. Like sit sit down, fucking. I bet sometimes when you sit and edit a podcast, like you kind of get in the zone, you just get in that flow state, and and you're you're out there listening to music. Go for a drive. Go like you know. There's so many things people can do that they don't think about doing. I think one of the things that you should definitely try, and this. This is something that I've thought about and I've even done it is when you're not having a bad time, like when you're not having mental health issues is go try something completely random and new. And I don't just mean like food, yeah, yeah. food or a store. Go play like, fucking Frisbee golf. Go do something that's outside of your comfort zone because when it comes time that you do have one of those really off moments, you'll be more comfortable just stepping out, just yeah. being able to go outside of your house and go do something, maybe get you out of that funk. But, I mean, if you've never done rock climbing, yeah, like, fine. this is the most random fucking interaction about this type of shit, but it is, like... But it's true. It is, because I know a lot of people that are still struggling with all this stuff, that going into lockdown, coming out, people are starting to get sick from COVID. Um, you know, I got some friends that just got COVID, and there's somebody that we all kind of know business-wise that's in the hospital in a, in a coma right now, and I hope he gets better. Um so it's hard because we're all dealing with it in our own way. And uh, unfortunately, we have been spoiled, extremely spoiled in this country to live a life that's a lot better than it is in a lot of other places. Yeah. So you literally there's a convenience store, a fucking restaurant, there's and everything a convenience on every store corner. everywhere, but everything's an inconvenience. Yeah. And that's how we kind of live our lives in the United States is there's a convenient something on every single corner. It's just what convenient but for we, you. we always try to find something that's inconvenient. And, and I think that if anybody ever goes abroad and they go to different countries, they tend to notice that the people 
are more in tune with each other because they don't have all these frivolous things. They don't have the connection. It's just not a stamp of the same businesses down the block every single yeah. place. Like it's more rooted, and that's also, how it is back. But also, I am. also that stamp of business on every fucking corner is also part of capitalism and why there's so many people that are so wealthy can make all that money. So it's like, well, and that's that's and why take. what you were saying with going Pros out and, and finding things to do. We are in one of the more wealthy countries where yes, we bitch that we don't make enough money to live, but you have to you have to remember like in other places they're not living the type of life that we're living. So go outside, enjoy some of nature, go enjoy you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor too. Christ almighty, I don't know how many years I get to the end of the year and I still have fucking a week of vacation. Well, and, and simple things like too. Book like, a vacation. Go like it's, every it's, other country goes on vacation. We don't do that here. Yeah, they take a holiday. Like I went to a fucking uh, what do you what do they call those the the timeshare thing where they right. they do the tour and then you get a free prize at the end yeah. and blah blah blah. So I go do this thing. They give us full airfare and nights to stay wherever we want. Like there's ten different options to pick from. I and they're crazy, dude. It was mm-hmm. insane. And they're like, right in the meeting, they said. 80% of you won't use this. Mm-hmm. And that was the whole pitch is that Americans do not take vacation. They don't spend enough time on we're vacation literally trying with to get their you family. To do it. And we're trying to give you something, and 80% of you will not use this. And one of the top regrets of people on their death, deathbed is that they spent too much time going to work and not enough time enjoying their life and their family. Yeah. And, I mean, again, my work, they love me. They all give me a lot of respect. Everybody treats me really well. I feel like I'm a fucking big deal when I walk into places sometimes. It's a pretty cool feeling. If I die tomorrow, they'll have my spot filled in a week. Yeah, probably me because I'm waiting on that spot. Absolutely. I've literally been telling people like, I need someone to retire or die yeah. so I can get that spot. Yeah, and I mean, but that's the sad thing is, is like, and then five years from now, there might be like a story here and there. Oh, yeah, there's this crazy dude, Keegan. But when yeah. you talk to my family, they're all going to tell you a story about me every single time yeah, they right. see you because I mean something to them. Right. So how much of my time am I taking out to go spend with them? And I think that's a lot where our mental health lies is we're so concerned. Well, we're so we're so minuscule when it comes to like thinking of yourself as a soul in the fucking solar system. Mm-hmm. Like you're so minuscule. But but like but you're but you're huge when it comes to people, you know, mm-hmm. without you in my life, I wouldn't you're a huge, you know, uh you're a huge impact on my life. Whereas like on someone who fucking doesn't know you at all that just runs into you in a circle K when you're grabbing something, they don't give a fuck who you are. You're right. just, you're fucking you're an ant, you know? Right. And it's true because I mean, you and I especially, like, you were one of the first friends that I made when I came out here and we took a six year, seven year hiatus of we didn't oh, yeah. see each other, talk to each other, nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah, my daughter was a baby and then she was a like a fucking little girl. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so it was almost five years that yeah. we didn't speak to each other and didn't and, and nothing like ill, just like just life happens and you busy. get fucking busy and and then we bump into each other again, talking through stuff and it's it's funny, you're you're at my, my daughter's first birthday. Mm-hmm. I don't did we talk about it on the last podcast? I don't know. I think we mentioned it Because I don't think we brought up like some of the f- cutest and funniest things ever. Like while Zoe was opening her presents, we had Brody chilling in like this the, like, the walker the walker thing. And Zoe just got up and walked over to him and put was her like, hand put her hand to balance on the side of the walker, and then they just were looking at each other and like having some type of baby telepathic communication that was happening. And then, from, and like, then Brody stare. touched her face. Yeah, and I was like, I have it all on film. I was like, this is so incredible right now. What is going on? And then Zoe was like, All right, I'm gonna go keep opening presents now. And then yeah. she like went back over and opened presents. And then when they were they were eating the cake and he got some cake and he got that sugar, that boy started, woo, woo, woo. That boy was kicking his legs. Slapping. Oh, my God. That was, dude. I, you know, I used to watch people with their kids and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. Mm-hmm. Kids are cute. It's cute, but I don't get it. But when you encounter a moment like that. It, it, but that's the thing. It was the moments. So, like, when I had the baby, I even said it to you after. Like, I think I'm broken. Like, I love my child, but like when everybody told me, like when they had their kid and they held it's their like, kid, you know, the meaning of life. the whole world changed like a fucking acid trip in front of, you know, and I'm sitting yeah. here like, yeah, they, 
That didn't happen. In a world full of adults. Right. One man had one child. One man And his lacking. entire life changed. I didn't have that. You know, I was sitting in the room and I was like, this is fucking crazy. I was, I was more shocked like an that hour and a half after. Like, it hit me like an hour and a half after. Like, holy fuck, what did I just witness, you know? And then I was holding the baby at the same time. I was like, this is crazy. This thing's living and breathing. It's, it's my responsibility now. What the fuck? That was weird. That mm-hmm. was weird when they're, I'm like, they're just going to send us how, out of here with a human life. How you just have a responsibility all of a sudden to take yeah, care of this and thing and make sure it lives. Like, you've taken care of your drunk friend that you were kind of worried he was going to like puke laying on his back in his sleep and not make it. And you're like, ah, fuck, I got to kind of keep around and make Poke sure Poke him with a die. stick if he like rolls Bro, over. Bro, this is way worse than that. Oh, yeah. You got to make sure like she doesn't like, you know, eat something off the floor. Everything could kill him that first week. Oh, dude, I, I remember the drive home. So my, my daughter, my first kid. I remember, like, that drive home was, like, straighten the mirror out, buckle up. Like, everything is silence. All you can hear is the the click of the belt. I'm, like, looking in the back. I'm, like, oh, God, I got to back out of a spot now? Jeez, I wasn't ready for this. You know, you're, like, looking everywhere. You're, like, blind spots, all, all the blind spots. You drive, like, the most, like, you have nuclear, you know, super Didn't feel crazy that. Crazy explosive. When I had, I just drove home. I was like, "All right, cool. We got this baby. Let's get home to the dogs." (laughs) I'm broken, bro. The the first time I had Brody in the car, same thing. I was just like, "Fuck it. I've already done this before. Fuck all these cars. This baby's gonna live. We're gonna make it." Yeah, take off. You know, it's crazy, man. Like, you just don't. I think it's those little moments, though, is when you see him do that little interaction or Mm -hmm. whatever. I was like, "Oh man, this is this is special." And, you know, those are the same thing, like family. Like, you, you got to make sure that you spend your time with your family and build some family out of your friends. And if they're not the right ones, fucking move on, bro. You Find some new, new ones. One. They got There's more out there. You're going to run into some people in this fucking universe that you connect with, and you just have a wavelength, and all of a sudden, you're like, I feel like I've known you my whole fucking life, and yeah. you've only known them for a week. Yeah. It's crazy. And then they marry you and steal all your money, and then they leave. They get 10 bucks and they leave. It's crazy. I, you got to hope for somebody that leaves you a little bit more <laughs> than $10. Choking. You got you want more than $10. So don't be Daniel Craig's kid. That's all I'm going to say. Sometimes you got don't, two baby mamas. You don't know. marry Daniel Craig. and don't. Did you know he's like one of the highest paid actors? Oh, I'd imagine he did 007s, so a couple yeah, of Yeah, but like what else? You know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not hip on. He did the, knives I'm, out. I'm. I'm not hip on the fucking. Uh, you know, he the probably UK. made more money off knives out. No, as total. I don't even know what knives out is. Oh, dude, you'd love knives out. I I love knives. Love. I don't know. The word out has a lot of different meanings. Bro, knives out is like a cheeky fucking kind of like spy, like. Is it is it like a uh, Guy Ritchie esque? Yes. Okay. I can yeah. dig it. So Daniel, was, Daniel Craig is like fucking Guy Ritchie so esque guy. Two, I think there's two of them, and I think he did like he made a hundred million off of the two movies because they just sold them to Netflix for like four hundred mil, right? So this dude's estimated wealth is somewhere around a hundred and sixty million dollars, right? So recently he's talking, I don't know if he says it in like a magazine quote or whatever it is, but he thinks it's weird. To leave money to your family and to your kids. And did he, did he have to work hard for everything that he ever had? I mean, he's a fucking stud. And I mean, he he's a bad actor. James Bond. I don't even, like, I do remember him in, uh, what was it? Oh, God damn it. We've talked about it, too. It's an old Guy Ritchie movie from back in the day. Lock, stock, and two Pass- smoke barrels? No. Um, he's an ecstasy drug dealer. Oh. We brought this up, yeah. and it's like they never say his name through the whole movie. Again, he's a great actor, but like, he's getting paid more than The Rock. I mean, he's getting paid more than The Rock, dude. And he said he wasn't going to leave any money to his kids or his family. So um, he wants to spend it all or give it away. How do you feel about that? I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. How, I, I have to read the, this fucking. I have to read the article because I'm very misinformed on the subject right now. That's the whole podcast. What would you do? But like, so like Warren Buffett. If you were his kid, so listen, like I'm your kid. Listen, hold on. Warren Buffett said the same thing. I believe it was Warren Buffett. He said, "I'm not leaving my kids all this fucking money, but I'm only leaving them a hundred million each because he's worth billions." So it's like, oh, 
everyone made a big deal. Like, he's yeah, not but... going to leave these kids all his money. He's like, no, he's going to sp- spend frivolous amounts on other crazy bullshit, but he's still leaving his kids $100 million each. Like, that's it? Just $100 million? Get the fuck out of here. Daniel Craig's probably doing the same shit. He's probably got... He's probably bought castles in Scotland and fucking... Do you think you could fuck up a billion dollars? Do I think I could fuck it up? Yeah. To have, we've, we've talked about this before, but just so anyone listening now, do you know how long a million seconds is? Oh, we did this. I know. Yeah. I might have to Google it, but I think... So a million seconds is like 11 days, something like that? It's like yeah. 11, 11 and a half like days. years or no, something. No, no, no. Like and a billion seconds is like 33 years. So like to put it in perspective... You could spend a dollar a second, a million dollars, last you a fucking week and a half, two weeks. If you spend a dollar a second with a billion dollars, it lasts you 33 years. It's an insane, like, you can't fathom that amount of money you wrap your head around it. But if you, yeah, if I had a billion dollars, I mean, I could fuck it up for sure. You know, you'd buy a fucking, right off the bat, just buy like a fucking $5 million house, $10 million house, buy a fucking yacht for $100 million. We're, we're fucking up a billion dollars, you know? So I wasn't kidding last week when I said the, the pecker pokers into the sky are going to start World War Three. Fucking Bezos filed a lawsuit against the government for taking, uh, picking Elon for a contract. How? How? I don't understand that. I fucking saved it, and I don't know that, where I that's put like, it. That's like that's uh, like I tried out for the Patriots to be a quarterback, and Cam Newton beat me out. So now, now I'm now I'm filing a lawsuit against the Patriots that Cam Newton was a better quarterback than me, and I should, I need to be paid. I'm gonna do it. Bezos sues NASA over SpaceX contract. Two days ago, dude, I'm telling you, I'm fucking, I'm a prophet. Two days ago, Jeff Bezos' ongoing re- uh, rivalry with SpaceX is heating up, and he's filed a lawsuit against NASA after the agency awarded a highly coveted contract to the lunar landing to the uh, for a lunar lander to Elon SpaceX. Instead, Blue Origins federal suit accuses NASA of having been unlawful and improper in its evaluation of proposals concerning its human landing system program. So basically, that's not my president. (laughs) Basil says Trump's going to get reelected on October the 3rd. (laughs) Q told him. So I told you, man, these fucking guys are going to get mad at each other. What happens when the two richest dudes... On the continent. Yeah, World War Three. Start getting pissed off, and they start picker poking it in the sky. Like, like you know Elon's going to do some subliminal shit just to, just to be an asshole. Because he's... Yeah. Dude, he's a genius, bro. He doesn't even have to, like, advertise his car, and it's the number one car that's sold. He just fucking makes them. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I was just listening to Lex Friedman talking about how their new autopilot shit is going to work. Mm-hmm. And it's all working off cameras. Oh, yeah. So the, no sensors, all cameras. No, it's 360-degree cameras, And yeah. every incident that it has is flagged and then gone back and fixed. So they have people beta testing the shit. So well, every, there, was, there was just a fucking... There's just there's, a circle there was, of there was a death that just happened, like, fucking this week. I don't, I don't even know how to, how well, to look at it. Well, because a lot of people are fucking around, and they keep using autopilot Well, and you can't, you can't stop, like, if someone hops on the freeway driving the wrong way, like, your, your autopilot's Dude, not going to fix that. Dude, I've seen the autopilot catch, like, all right, there's, like, two lanes full, and motherfuckers being, like, the HOV lane at night, cruising down the HOV lane, and, like, a car tries to pull out, and there's no way in hell you would have... Like, you didn't have enough reaction time at 70 miles an hour as a human. Yeah. And the car caught it and pulled him away from it and just went right around it. Like, if you look missed accidents from Tesla's autopilot, yeah. it's insane. But if you're going 75 miles per hour one direction and there's a car coming 75 miles per hour the other direction. Who's got more weed? There's no, there's no way it's that thing is going to, there's no way that thing is going to be able to react and move out of the way of that, you know? If Bobby's going 45 miles an hour and he's got two quarters in a Ziploc baggie and Darren's <clears> coming 75 miles an hour the other and way, he's, he's on got acid $45 and he, can see and he said can... he had 60. Who's going to be more pissed off when they meet up? <laughs> the Benzos are kicking in. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot other than I hope nobody that wins or gets $160 million in my family, I hope they just leave me like a cool million or two. 
They don't pull that fucking okay. fuck shit. Hey, you know, throw me 10K. Just pay the car off. I'm know? just going to spend all my money. Dick. Dick. I'm not watching the next Buy Bond me a razor. Movie. Fuck that. Let me go Bond. have some fun in the mud. I'm not, I'm not watching another Bond movie again. Just the old ones. I was thinking to do Idris Elba as the next, as one of the next yeah, Bonds. That's what I heard. That's what we've heard. But, I mean, he was too busy killing it over at Suicide Squad. So yeah, yeah. He might be getting a new movie <laughs> or some shit. Like, you don't know, man. You never know. That movie killed. I mean, I've heard some terrible reviews on it, but I thought it was good. Yeah, well, that's because Marvel's probably because it's, it's a bunch of cunts bitch. out there. People are getting paid to say There's bad shit. There's a lot of cunts out there. People are spoiled in America. Mm. Yep. Why doesn't why doesn't our comedy though transfer over to like China? Like our then action it's English. <laughs> I know, but like. <laughs> Because they're because they're bred a different way, they're taught a different way. Like we're isn't that like, weird? They're but very... to shoot them up, shit works. Like bang, bang, boom, boom. They they like that well, yeah, shit. Car who's crashes that, and Who's fights. his name? Max. Uh, who's the one I'm thinking of? Does all the slow mo shit. The not Max Payne. There's the one uh, that catches the doves and shit. It's a, it's a. See, I don't even want to sound racist. It's some type of Asian descent of movie theatrics and or video game like uh matrix type dodging bullets and slowing time down like do they have any baller movies coming out of china oh i'm sure they i mean i'm sure they do you're like not allowed to mostly have the internet in china so i don't know how that works but like yeah they're well, definitely I mean, they're definitely doing baller to... shit over there but like look at like a k-pop like korean but has music. there ever been a movie that they brought over here that was chinese and they subbed it into fucking english and we we're like oh my god this is the best like they See, get this makes me feel bad because i don't get, even i don't even know if bruce lee is like chinese or japanese but they get like fast and the furious movies right and like they get dubbed and they're okay with that like that works for them they're they I mean, get it like and Tokyo they're Drift with it. made them look real good you know you think that's what did it? Was Tokyo Drift got them all on board? <laughs> no, I'm being ser- no, I don't know. I'm looking up Bruce Lee right now. Um, uh, Hong Kong, oh. so China. Yeah. Speaking of Bruce Lee, check these out. Wait, wait, hold on. I haven't done this. Hold before. on. Bruce Lee was born in San Francisco. He was so close to Hollywood already. Now I'm fucking pissed. Um, he died in Hong Kong. Okay, but he was born in the Chinese hospital in San Francisco, California, 1940, November 27th. Interesting. <laughs> that changes everything. Check Where's Jackie? Is Jackie, Jackie Chan's Chinese, right? He's got to be Chinese. Probably. Yeah. Chang Kong Song. Uh, da, 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 Don't Jackie do that. And Hong Kong actor. So uh, I got uh, some yeah. new kicks today. Talk about some Bruce Lee's. Oh, Very yeah. Bruce Lee-esque right here. Ooh. Okay. Butters. Look at those things, dude. Those are pretty nice. They're the pollen. They're that's the color. Pollen. Pollen. That's, I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, man. I I never. You know. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I just wanted to break these out. When are you gonna wear these? Are you gonna wear those? These ones? Yeah. Yeah. Just not during football season. You look like you could wear them right now. Oh, I'm dressed. Yeah, I'm dressed apart. But I got some really dope shoes on right now. I've been posting them a lot. Yeah, yeah, I seen them. They have like the Reaper on them. Yeah, they got the Reaper on them with some chainsaw blood spray on them. And shout out to Warren Lotus. It only took like a year and a half to get the fucking shoes. Thanks, Warren. Literally a year and a half. So when Nike gets me my shit in a week. But he sent this bag with the eyeball holes cut out, so it's like a mask. <laughs> So that makes it all better. And a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Like he's known sticker. for t-shirts, too. So Yeah, well, he's a t-shirt guy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what thing. I mean. But all it's the like exactly cool. what I just said. But, yeah. I mean, th- that's all I got. I just had you know had to flash those real quick because I was excited that I had got to fl- those. Had to flex the, the, like the old people say the Nikes. Had to flex the Nikes on them. Had to flex my dad's shoes on everybody. So, you know, it's, it, when you don't do a podcast for a long time... I feel like we have so much to talk about, and I feel like we don't get half of the shit into the podcast that I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. save for next week. And then we do a couple in a row, and I'm like, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, football started. I don't even want to watch football. I've had multiple no, invites. No, we've had preseasons. Fuck preseason. I got invites to go do uh, drafts for oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm, fantasy. You so. know what? I did fantasy leagues the, last, the past two years. I've been in three leagues each year, and I'm like, fuck, I need to go down to two leagues. And this year, I'm not in any right now, but I might jump in one. Well... I'm going to be in at least one, maybe two, so we'll have a little bit of fantasy bullshit talk. 
hopefully we don't get locked down and none of this bullshit gets any worse. But if we do, make sure you got toilet paper. Stay safe out there. And uh, yeah. go fuck yourselves. Yeah. yeah.